there's so much clickbait out there because it's such an effective way to get people to pay attention to things. Because as it. you said, people focus on failure and negative and anger. That's what we want to see. Controversy. That's what we want to see. People yeah. want to see the anger. Yeah. And, and you know, where... Why do you think that is? Because it's just the times. It's, it's, that's what's cool now. Is what's that cool, what it is? What's or cool is, is being negative. You know how you always have some people... This is a great example. How you have people... Me and you can talk about a movie, right? We can talk about Titanic. Wow, man, Titanic, one of the biggest movies of all time. Fucking great movie. Yo, yes, it was a great movie. And one guy, for no reason, go, I fucking hated it. <laughs> <laughs> why? You ain't like Titanic? Fucking bullshit. Why? Man, I ain't got, I know why. <laughs> now tell me, why, why'd you hate it? I ain't got time to talk to you about that. The cool thing is just being different. I want to I wanna be completely opposite than all these Contrarian. positive people. You know what? No, no, no. That shit was ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Why? Why was it ass? You have people that just like to do that. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, and, and what happens when one person does it, another person for no reason all go, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, that shit was ass, man. I ain't, I ain't like it either. <laughs> Did you see it? What y'all talking about? <laughs> you don't even know what they're talking about. But you just want to hop on the negative train. Right. Because that's what's cool. It's not cool to be positive. It's not cool to be happy. I don't know if it's a cool thing. I think it's usually people that are really frustrated with their lives. 100%. I mean, uh, like, that's, the, that's the factual side to it. I, yes. I did a joke before. I was like, do you think Michael Jordan leaves YouTube comments? Like, I bet he doesn't. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not for winners. No, the, the, not the, at all. The type of people that want to get mad and complain constantly about <laughs> shit like that. Do you know what it takes to do this right here? <laughs> not much. Do you know right here? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you how I feel. Right in your comment section, Joe Rogan, you can kiss my. You know what that takes? You, what do you have going on that you have the time to just simply? Be that negative and, and do it in this world and universe. It's so just a mismanagement of your time. Time. Yeah, your time. time is so valuable. And, and I, I don't think people understand how valuable they can be if they use their time correctly. Yes. Now, have you always been like this? Have I'm, you always been I'm this a ambitious? Positive always? Fucking guy, man. But always? Always. Really? I find a light in every dark tunnel. I will find a goddamn light, man. <laughs> I hear it all. You, listen, when I tell you the weight on my back is so heavy of all the stuff that I deal with, and I'm fine. The reason why I'm fine is because I'm genuinely happy. I'm happy. And I'm not happy just because of the success. The success acts as a bonus. I'm happy because I truly know the definition and the feeling that comes with happiness. I truly know it. I felt it. I felt it when I said, yo, what really makes me happy? And I look at Heaven and Hendrix and I look at Zoe. I look at my wife. I go, yo, I didn't have the family shit when I was coming up. Yo, I got one. I got one. Look what I done did. Look what I built. These people depend on me. I provide for these people. That makes me happy. That makes me happy when my daughter comes up. Dad. You're not only my dad, you're my best friend. Yo, I'm happy. That's my world. So everything else from the outside that comes in, you're, you're, you're throwing shit at a, at, a, at a bubble that can't be popped. Mm. It's a force field around me. Yeah. It's a force field around me because what matters, what really matters, loves me wholeheartedly. And when you have that and you understand that, you're unbreakable. So if you don't add to that force field, if you don't make my force field stronger, you don't, you don't, you don't get time from me. My team, Heartbeat Productions, the people underneath my umbrella, you're a part of my force field. You believe what I believe. We all see the same things. We want the same things. So we march with the same beat. You can't, you can't shake that when you're an individual that's seen that and understands that. If you've never felt that, if you have no idea what that feels like, then it's easy to shake you. That's why some people are easily broken. Being broken is not a hard thing. 
It's not a hard thing. So those that do get broken, those that do get down, those that do get depressed, I understand. I understand. I don't I don't knock people for it. Mm. I don't knock anybody for it. What I also understand is that the encouragement that can come from so many can add value for those that may need a little push. Mm. That may need a little, hey man, pick your chin up. It's so easy to be that positive reinforcement for somebody and add value. It's so easy. But some people choose to throw that aside and kick while you're down. Mm. I try to put out the light of positivity because whoever's out there, you I don't know what it could do for somebody else. But somebody else may just simply look at me and say, yo, the way that he embraces his kids makes me want to be a better father. Yo, the way that this man doesn't stop and the way that every day he wakes up and he's just positive regardless of what's going on makes me realize that this shit ain't so bad. The way that he gets up and says, hey, today's another day. It's a morning. Let's all be better than we were yesterday. Somebody probably needed to hear that. The more that I can give that out and I can take my platform to throw good energy out, I'm doing my part. Because there's so many that throw out the complete opposite. Yeah. I don't want to be a part of that. That's beautiful, man. That's, and that's true. I believe you. It's not, it's not forced. Right. It's not phony. Yeah. It's not fake. I get shit every day. I hear shit every day. It's very contagious, too. I had, I had a lady. I had a lady, right? Later on down. <laughs> <laughs> lady rolled down. Lady rolled down the window. She goes, "When you gonna make a good movie again?" I said, uh, "Did you see the upside? I thought the upside was good. What's that?" <laughs> oh shit! It's a movie. It's one of my movies that's out. I think, I think it's a good movie. I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ma'am. You have a beautiful day. That's hilarious. Yeah. All right. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. I, yeah. I, all, right. all right. Damn. What she said? That she asked the question <laughs> with such conviction. Like, literally. Yeah. And by the way, I could have said a lot of shit. Like, she rolled her window right. down. You could tell she still had the crank. So, I'm like, <laughs> I could have said a lot of shit. I didn't. Right. <laughs> I didn't. I Let didn't. There's a lot of things that I could say to you, ma'am. When are you going to make a good movie? Right. It's snapping. <laughs> Well, I got one out. The upside. You see the upside? What's that? <laughs> oh. It's a movie. It's, uh, it's out now. Amazing that that's how she chooses to come at you. I see it. I'm, I get it. She chooses to come at you with a negative. I get it every day. Mm. When you going to be funny again? I'm, I'm trying my best. <laughs> oh. Trying my best. If it's not working for you, hopefully I do better soon. What, what, do you, yeah. what, do you, what, what am I going to feed into that? And it, why? Why? Right. right. Why? Why? For what? Yeah. For what? It seems to have been working thus far. <laughs> are you getting this positive attitude towards life from life experience? Are you getting it from books? Did someone teach you how to think I'm, like this? I'm getting it from the experiences and from the the real understanding of perfection doesn't exist. It don't exist, Joe. Mm. We're, we're in a time right now where people expect perfection. You expect perfection. And I don't know where this came from. I don't know what happened that this is the criteria for living. My true understanding is, all right, you got one life. And that one life, the goal for us is to live it to the best of our ability from the beginning to what said the end. In the middle... In the beginning, middle, you're going to do things, you're going to make mistakes, you're going to fuck up. You're supposed to learn and then move forward with the understanding of what not to do. And when you move forward, life may get better, it may not, but somewhere along the lines it's going to click. And everything that I went through back here was supposed to happen so that now that I'm here, I'm able to go ahead with such a high level of knowledge and I can make other people better. I can make myself better. I can do more for my family. Something happens. My dad is the prime example. Crazy drug addict. In and out of jail. Life was very bad. Very fucking bad for my dad. Son got successful. Son then took money. Gave it to his dad. 
Here's your house. Here's your truck. Here's your monthly. At this age, I want you to live your life. You have made mistakes. You can't rebuild and correct the things that you've done. I'm your son. I love you. You can't go back and, and redo. You can't try to keep going backwards. It ain't about me. You got grandkids. Mm. Go be the best grandpa you can be for these grandkids. That's your focus now. Where's this energy devoted to? Being a grandpa for the grandkids. Don't worry about me. But something happened in your life. Something happened that took you in the direction to reap the benefits of your son's happiness and success. My energy is now contagious enough and I hand it to you. So now you're able to give that off to all these other people that you're around. Something happens and that's in every single life. In every life. I understand that. There's a payoff for bad eventually. There's a payoff. It can't be bad, but for so long. If you got the strength and the understanding to realize that, shit will change. It will change. It's impossible. It's just like poker. I don't know if you play poker or not. I don't. If you play poker, you can run bad forever, but it will eventually turn around once you grasp the understanding of the game. Eventually, it's going to turn around. Blackjack, you're never going to beat the casino, but eventually you're going to have a good run. If you catch a run, You'll do good. Get the fuck out of there. You waited long enough for it to happen. Here it come. Catch it. Leave. Anything in life will eventually turn good. Now, but 